thank you for tuning in. This is your instructor Joe. Today I'd like to share with you how one could sit correctly while playing on a chair. When you play in an orchestra or a quartet or some type of ensemble, we often sit on a chair and play for many, many hours. And I see when my students join an orchestra, um, either professionally or sometimes in youth orchestra or sometimes amateur orchestras and ensembles, the after a very first week of rehearsal they come exhausted and they're wondering how one could play so so many hours in such setup. And what it boils down is uh, one has to learn how to sit healthy way so that the long hours of rehearsing does not become overly exhausting. So I'd like to share with you so that you can play many long, long hours of rehearsals in a set, a set up like orchestras or ensembles without injuring yourself. You might have seen even professional musicians, many of them have a lot of problem, health issues, back pain and neck pain stuff, and they had to spend a lot of time with a physiotherapist. I mean, which is also, which is still better than nothing, but if we can prevent before we get there, it would be even better. Okay, let's start. I would like to share first um, the two common mistakes that I see. Number one is sitting when it's often the chair has this back rest, all the way back and resting our back and playing. This actually may feel comfortable but your upper body is totally unattached to your violin playing. So what you're doing is you're playing violin only with your arms. No access of your shoulder, no access of your torso. Therefore, it actually becomes very hard to play properly or we end up playing very small, very soft, very everything, very little and small. Uh, in this case, more than health issue, your playing, your violin playing uh, suffers reduces significantly so that should be avoided. Second common mistake that I see is especially a lot of uh, young ladies they sit at the edge of chair like this. I understand why they do that they want to have access of their uh, torso their upper body which is important part, uh, fact to play violin well. I understand that but problem with sitting at the edge having very little um, room to rest or sit properly Basically, what you're doing is you're holding your upper body, you're resting uh, your legs and hips in a very little corner of your chair. So um, you of, often, players will sit like this and end up having back pain because you're basically holding up your body all the time. And at some point, because you're, you're actually holding your upper body, your shoulder gets a little tense and then that actually has also negative effects on when it comes to playing violin properly in a relaxed way. So that should be avoided. And then, now let's talk about how to sit correctly. It's very important that you sit deeply in where you could rest your hips and lower back and share, uh, spread the weight around your legs too. That way, your shoulder and your upper body is very relaxed and you should feel certain weight in your center, in your abdominal, right? You should not feel like holding your body, but rather Drop your shoulder, feel the relaxation, but you should feel certain weight around your abdominal. That's how it should be. I like to have my lower back or hips all the way where the back rest starts without resting my upper body, but just a lower back, touching slightly. Yeah, and then uh, just spread the weight around your hips and lower, lower back and also the legs. That's number one. If you you are too short, I'm a short person also, and this is a little, this could be a little hard for a short player, then you can go a little forward. You don't have to rest all the way back, but make sure you sit with enough room for, for the same reason, so that you can have um, sit properly, comfortably, having your weight, body weight spread around your lower back and legs, so that your upper body becomes completely relaxed and ready to or to support your violin playing for the same reason yeah i personally prefer to go all the way back where i can rest my lower back 
which will relieve me from many hours of playing. Especially when I was working in, in Germany in opera house, and operas could go for five, six hours, and Wagner operas even more. So unless you don't sit properly, you know, before, no matter how many times you practice, you, when you're tired or when you're suffering from back pain, it's not gonna help. So make sure to sit well, spreading the weight properly, and so that you can enjoy playing for many hours. And also remember, um, give a little room between your legs. Um, some ladies, when they wear tight skirt, they like to put their legs together, which is, um, may, it is a polite thing to do as a young lady, I understand, but when it comes to violin playing, when you put your legs together, again, you're holding your, your lower body and you're making your upper body tense, which will cause um, tense, tension in your violin playing also. You don't want that. So you don't have to spread your legs wide. Just give a little room between your legs. So just enough so that you can spread the weight between both legs and lower hips so that you feel certain relaxation in your upper body. That's very important. The last one that you want to remember is sit way where you could see the music stand well and the conductor well or a music stand, or if there's another leader, then you can see those uh, important person well. The reason being is, um, I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense, but we don't think about those. Let's say the conductor is in your right side, and then your music stand happens to be on the left side, and then you're looking music, and you have to go, go there back and forth, and you're, you're swinging your upper body throughout the entire rehearsal and concert. Not only will it exhaust you, but it just, um, you will have a hard time to follow the conductor or the leader. Same goes if you happen to be the concert master or if you happen to be the leader and you have to position yourself where you could check everybody. Yeah? So it should be your, your, your body should face whomever you want to keep eye contact with and then in between in the same line the music stand should stand as well so that you don't have to travel around but it's all in your way of looking or checking everybody. Yeah, I hope this makes sense to you. And these little steps will save you a lot of trouble and pain, trust me. And I wish you a lot of happy playing and healthy playing. See you again, bye-bye.